lab rats feel they might have come up with a simple solution to the walking on water challenge. They've borrowed an inflatable water ball, have climbed inside and launched themselves onto the water. Well, he's not sinking and he's making some progress, but stop celebrating, he looks silly and, to be honest, it doesn't really count as walking on water. So I've asked an expert to come in and challenge my lab rats to a unique race across the surface of this lake. Hello, I'm the aqua skipping expert. It has no motors, no paddles, and nothing to keep it afloat. How does our expert's device work? A water skipper works by using underwater wings, hydrofoils. The skipper is propelled forward by a strange bouncing action. This makes the rear hydrofoil push down and backwards on the water, which in turn thrusts the skipper forwards. If the skipper is bounced forwards fast enough, then the water moving over the hydrofoils will create sufficient lift to help the skipper float. However, if the skipper is bounced too slowly, then the upwards lift will be too small, sending our skipper to a soggy end. OK, so now we know how a water skipper works. What are the rules of the race? The rules are simple. The first one to make it to the island in the middle of the lake wins. So who is going to win? Will it be the water ball or the water skipper? So everyone is ready. It is raining, so let's just get on with this. Three, two... Well, uh, hang on, the sneaky little lab rats jumped the gun. The water skipper expert doesn't seem too bothered though, and he's off. And he is flying across the water. The water ball looks more like a demented hamster than a champion, whilst the water skipper gracefully glides across the surface. Oh, look, he's really showing off now. Surely there's no way he can lose from here. And he doesn't. I think we can safely say lab rats have been put in their place. I mean, an inflatable ball as a means of water transport. Genius. The water skipper then, the clear winner in a race that many say should never have happened. That brings the scores to 3-0 to the Yellows.